Welcome everyone. Here's a quick recap of today's lesson. Um, what we should have learned on Friday was that the area of a triangle, and it doesn't matter which type of triangle it is, if it is an equilateral triangle, if it is a uh, up to scaling triangle, if it is a right angle triangle, all triangles are going to be half of the area of a rectangle. So half the area of a, I'm just going to draw in a rectangle. Okay. Uh, one thing we talked about in class was that the area of a rectangle is, of course, length times width, but we can also think of it area of a rectangle as the base of the wrinkle, uh, sorry, the base of the rectangle times the height of the rectangle. And of course, that's when we get into the half of the base times height that you all already know. Um, if I look at these examples here, I can see that um, not very well in this in this video, but I have a grid pattern inside here. And with this rectangle, sorry, with this triangle, I can, I can visualize in my mind's eye that this is part of a rectangle, okay? And so here is a rectangle. Um, inside the rectangle, I can think of my length times my width, or I can say this is the base times the height. We also looked at op properties of a rectangle, which is opposite sides of a rectangle have equal lengths, so opposite sides are equal. Um, so if I look at this, if I want to find the area of this triangle, I can say that it is the half of the area of this whole rectangle. Well, to find the area of this rectangle, I can find the base, the base which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my base is 5, 5 units, and the height is 1, 2, 3. My height is 3. So the area of this entire rectangle is, um, the area is base times height, which is 5 times 3, so the area is 15. Now, I'm not using my units just yet. I'm just looking at the foundational understanding of area. Um, now, I know that this rec or this triangle is half the area of the, of the uh, rectangle, so for my 15, I'm actually going to have to find half of it. So I'm going to have to have half of 15. Well, what's half of 15? I know that's 15 divide 2. How many 2s go into 15? 7 2s go into 15, and I'm left with 1 out of 2. So the area of this tr of this triangle is 7 and a half. Okay? Um, well, let's look at the same thing over here. There's another example. In this example over here, I have a base, base of my triangle, a rectangle. I can think of my rectangle like this. It goes all the way around, and I'm going to find half of it. Well, the base of here, this is where it gets a little tricky in this one. Um, let's just scratch this one for now. Scratch this one for now. It's going to be in video two. So that one's scratch. Let's just look at this one down here. Uh, this one down here, I have a base. This is the base of my tri or my rectangle. It's also the base of my triangle. Okay, this base, I'm going to take this base. I'm going to times it by the height, the height of my rectangle. Well, if I have a base here, does that base or sorry, if this is the height here, does that height change if I move it in a bit? No, because it's still the same height. It's still the same length. If I move it in, still the same. If I move it over, still the same. Move it over, still the same. So what I can do is I can actually, in my mind's eye, transfer this one over or move this height, move it all the way over here. So I can have the base of my triangle, the base of my rectangle, and then I can also pair it with the base or the height of my triangle, height of my rectangle right there. So now I have a base and a height. But what's the base of this triangle? The base of this triangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's just recount 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the base of this is 6. And what's the height? The height here is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the height is 4. So if I have the height of my rectangle, the height of my uh, triangle, the height of, or sorry, the base of my rectangle, the base of my triangle, same things, I have 6 and 4. So the area of the rectangle is 6 times 4, which is a total of 24. Now I know that the triangle is half of that, so I want to have half. Half of 24 is 12. And there you go. Um, using the understanding that the 
area of a triangle is half of the area of a rectangle. In the next one, I'm going to look at these kind of more difficult ones, the scaling obtuse, and also this one that's kind of funky on the side there. Catch you in the next one.